morning. I think this is our first official snow machine ride of the season. We just got a bunch of snow the other day. There's barely enough snow to go riding out here. We just got one machine, we got our snowshoes, and we got the rifle, and we're looking for some ptarmigan today. We just ran into a gentleman that was also out here hunting ptarmigan. He had his dog with him, and he pointed us in a direction where he just saw some birds. He said he ran out of ammo, so he had to take off. So we're gonna get our snowshoes on, we're gonna ditch the snow machine here, and we're gonna quietly walk up and uh, see if we can hear any, and see if we can see any. Okay, we got the 17 HMR. Uh, we wanted to buy a 20 gauge shotgun, but Guns are really hard to find up here and we haven't found the one that we like. The 17 is nice because it has a scope on it so we can get them from pretty far away. But you gotta use a special type of ammo. You don't wanna use the hollow points on this. So we just got regular, I guess it'd be a full metal jacket bullets. That way we don't cause any damage to the meat or minimal. So extra ammo, we're ready to roll. Let's go see if we can find some. We stopped for a second and we just heard one up on the hill calling out. We can't see it though, we just heard it. These are what the tracks look like. We've been seeing a ton of tracks. That's one wing, that's the other wing. And when they land, they, sp they spread their wings out and they leave those marks. So it's pretty easy to see where they've been. pretty far into the trail. We were hiking a bunch back there and we weren't seeing any. And then we decided to cut off the trail way further up on the snow machine. And I just scared probably about 10 or 15 of them. And they went that way. So we're gonna park the snow machine and we're gonna see if we can get up there and get one. There should be some right to your left. Well, we got down to where the ptarmigan should have been and we couldn't find them. They are very well camouflaged. They have this beautiful white feathers with a little bit of black and I mean, unless they're moving, you really cannot see them. We followed their tracks and then they just disappeared. And we know they didn't fly away, but there's a lot of activity out here, a lot of tracks. We're gonna keep going up the trail. I'm just gonna sit in the back and we're gonna hope that we can flush some more out. We don't have the dog with us and he was really helpful last time, but there's just way too much snow out here to bring him today. We made it pretty far on this trail. And I think our tactic has just kind of switched to riding the snow machine in hopes that we kind of jump them out of the bushes and scare them out because they're so hard to see. This is extremely difficult without bandit here. <laughs> but we are getting pretty hungry and we're at a pretty bad spot on the trail. There's a creek that's not really frozen. So we're gonna make some lunch. Since we haven't shot a ptarmigan, that would have been lunch, probably. I brought some uh, coffee, We've got our little camp stove, always comes in handy. And somehow we keep getting our hands on these old mountain house meals. One's a mountain house, one's Alpine Air Foods. So we're probably gonna cook one of these up, maybe two. Oh my gosh. How many miles would you say we're in? About four? I think it's about four. Probably about four miles in, yeah. Yeah, I don't think six. Maybe six if you go to the top of the mountains. It's going through deeper stuff with two people easier than ours with one people. I was about to say, my the yellow one, I went through ones that people had went through like this. Yeah. And if, if I took our yellow one with two people with a sled, we would have been stuck in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, we got the sled behind us too. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. 
out here again to get those bad boys. We're out here, there's hundreds of them. Well, we're still out here. We can try to get them. Let's try to get them on the way out. I'm just saying, if we, if we came out in the morning. Does that taste like an Irish coffee, yeah, kind of? Yeah, it's really good. This is a trail that Eric and I have never done before. I think it's four miles long and it leads up to, a, I mean, a mountain range. It, yeah. it does end unless you're have a different machine and you're really hardcore, which we are not. So we're <laughs> going to be, we're going to be heading back soon, but it's, it's awesome. This is a really neat trail. I'm glad, I'm glad we took the opportunity to come out here. Yeah, it's fun. We finally got enough snow up here at least. We had to come up to a higher elevation to be able to ride, but this has been a fun trip. Santa Fe black beans and rice well, with zesty really southwestern good. flavor or Mexican style chicken and rice. This one. Okay, let's try that one. This one sounds better to me, so let's save this one for there. Okay. See, you did it the old way? Yeah. Is this not like that? I don't know, let's see. Okay, 10 minutes. Be eating good. Time to eat. This is a vegetarian one. Santa Fe black beans and rice. Oh, that smells pretty good. Looks like a Mexican rice, red rice. Mmm. This is a good one. Well, I always feel like we get really lucky with the weather. It's, I don't know how cold it is. I think it was like negative three when we got out of the truck. I don't know what it is now. I know there's some snow coming on the way. And then it was like negative 15, negative 17 this morning at our house. It's actually decently pleasant out here. I have seven layers on and mittens. I'm gonna try this, see what it tastes like. That's really good. It needs a flour tortilla. And some ptarmigan. <laughs> that meal was awesome. This day was awesome. We're gonna head back. Probably got maybe like an hour ride. And it's I know it's already gonna start to get dark, so we're gonna keep our eyes out for some ptarmigan. His wings are right there. These grouse are so hard to see. That hole is where they were burrowed in the ground, like five feet from us. We didn't even know they were there until they jumped up and uh, we got a new gun. We got a 20 gauge shotgun and I got one and it's up there on the hill. We're gonna go see if we can get it and flush the other ones out. There's quite a few of them. Here's one I got. I got two. This happened last time too. These birds, we were sitting on the snow machines for a minute or so. We didn't know they were there. We made a loud noise and they flew off. We were sitting there deciding if we wanted to start hiking and I opened our tote, made a loud noise, flushed a bunch of birds out. They're so hard to see. I'm telling you what though, this 20 gauge shotgun, this is so much better for hunting these ptarmigan. Really glad we picked this gun up. 
We just got f four? Five. five? We got a retrieve. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five, I think. Let's see. These birds are so beautiful. You can just see their their camouflage is impeccable. It, I mean, just looking at the snow and them, you can't even tell the difference. That's how well they match it. And we thought we were gonna be finding willow ptarmigan, which have black feathers on their tail, but these ones are not willow ptarmigan. I'll have to double check. I think they're either rock ptarmigan or white-tailed ptarmigan. We're gonna keep keep looking. This is their beautiful feet too. And I was just reading that their feet actually get, they grow a lot more feathers and their nails grow out for the, for the winter and they change their feathers back in the summer. They look a little bit different. It was in the hole. It was in a different hole. They're out here. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. See it? Isn't that one? No, that's a stick. <laughs> I was about to say, is it a stick? All right, we've got one more and we can get 10 each. This is number six for me. Ariel's got two. Uh, we're not going to get 20. We don't need that many right now, but awesome. We got another one. This one was right there. It was in a hole completely under the snow and it, it got scared and jumped up. So let's see if we can find a couple more. You're going in like three feet with them. Deep. Well, we got eight birds. We're very happy with that. When we got here this morning, we pulled up and it was like, just, I don't know if it was snowy or foggy, but it was just like a white out in here. And we know that these ptarmigan, we usually always see them on really nice sunny days. So we decided just to come out here and thankfully it cleared up and we have this beautiful day. We got these eight birds and it's still early in the day. It's probably only like maybe noon. So I think we're gonna load things up and we're gonna continue on down the trail and just have a good time. Uh, hold on, this is sort of bag. I'll put it in my snowshoe bag for now. We are taking a pit stop here because we saw some more ptarmigan tracks, and there's actually two of them right there. They're eating lunch, so we're gonna eat some lunch too. And we thought there was three, and the longer we sat here, we've been sitting here for like 45 minutes just watching them, seeing what they do, how they kind of burrow down and eat, and there ended up being seven birds. So a lot of birds out here, and it's extremely cold. It's well below zero. And I'm glad I brought coffee and some warm food. You need to defrost the icicles on your mustache. I know. Oh, so good. It is so beautiful out here today. I honestly don't even feel deserving of such a lovely day. And like Eric mentioned, we're out here enjoying these remarkable birds too. They're so much fun to sit and watch. I don't think we've really been able to observe their behavior. And they like to eat these little twigs and the buds off these little willow bushes. That's where you can usually find them too. But we've never been able to see them burrow like that with their heads just popping right above the snow. And it's clearing up, so it's definitely getting colder out. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep doing more riding. There's a lot of snow out here and really only one of our machines is appropriate for being out in this deep of snow, but it's just so 
It's so beautiful. This is why we love Alaska. That does it. I think we're gonna tool around a little bit. We're all loaded up. And then we're gonna head home. We're gonna clean our eight birds. Made it home with our birds. We're gonna process them a little differently. Usually we just step on the wings and we pull their legs and we just take the breasts, but we're gonna keep uh, the legs and the breasts and everything together on these ones. Today was such a blast and I actually was able to look up that these are in fact white-tailed ptarmigan, which I was not expecting to see in the area we were hunting. So. Yeah. Pretty neat. They're a little bit smaller of a bird than the ones we're more familiar with, but it was just a neat experience. White. Beautiful dark, yeah. dark meat. Yeah, white-tailed ptarmigan. So cool. Look at that meat, though. I think that's their, their, their feathers. They have so many feathers. That's crazy. So yes. many little ones. That's the ones that keep them warm, the little, the little body feathers. I don't know the layers, but they have a double. Yeah. Like a little chicken. That's impeccable, all the feathers. Yeah, it's like, make a jacket out of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that just real soft, beautiful bird? Yeah, you can see what they've been eating. The little buds. The buds of those trees, yeah. It's all that's in there, little buds. I think they just eat the, the buds and the tips of the... You saving the feet for the dogs? Yeah, I bet they'll eat them. A lot of the times we'll clean these birds out in the field, but because of the weather today and the amount, we, we brought them home. So this is all going to go in the compost, the feathers, and then the dogs get to eat some too. Yes, and we're going to cook them a little different, like I said. I think it's called spatchcock style. I don't yeah. know if it's a style or what, but should be good. Yeah, I was so cold out there. Feet were frozen. You have feathers on your beard. I got feathers everywhere. You have them on your mustache. They're frozen. Yeah. There's little tiny down feathers. Are you doing okay? Oh, look at how much fat that one had. That's wow. interesting. That's probably a, there's probably something different going on with that bird, right? Hey birds, take too long. Good job.
We were having a feast for dinner tonight. We're about to pull our veggies out of the oven. Arrow roasted some rutabaga, beet, potato, and squash. And we're cooking up our tarm again. We got some nice seasonings on here, some herb. And then we're gonna have a very interesting and hopefully delicious appetizer. Well, this is quite <laughs> the meal. It looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it does. What's our appetizer? So we have a kebab, and this is a ptarmigan heart, red onion, yellow onion, and garlic kebab. I've never had ptarmigan heart no, or grouse heart. We have not. You want to try one? We're going to open that first. A while back, Eric and I made some wine, and not just any wine, wild blueberry wine. Yeah. And it turned out awesome. We got really, really lucky. It was our first time doing it, and... Well, me a glass. That's a big glass. We have a few bottles that we're storing. We're letting them, you know, age. age yeah. But we couldn't help but break into a few of them as well. So, I know it looks so beautiful. Look at that color. Cheers. Did you eat a heart yet? No, but that wine. It's, that's, so good. it's delicious. It's really good. What do you think? Let's, you try one? let's eat the eat the heart. Oh wow. That's really good. I marinated those ginger, garlic, olive oil, and vinegar, and some other spices. If you've never had heart, it's a really, it's wow. It's almost like a denser muscle. It just tastes like so meat. It's firm. Yeah. But these are really delicious. I would eat a whole little plate of these for snacks. Oh. Oh, good. So that was just an awesome hunting trip. Totally unexpected to even get one bird, but we got eight. Just extremely grateful how good we did. I'm grateful for Eric's cooking, of course. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video, and we're going to eat the rest of this lovely meal. Looks great. Who's the other baby? No, but I'm going to right now with the squash. The sausage is good. No joke. I would eat the, if you serve these at a restaurant. Um, That's crazy. I'm always having an appetizer. Oh, the garlic. Oh, my gosh. It tastes like I'm at the ball game. I'm actually a really big fan of the texture. It's like a... It's like a nugget of just like fresh meat. No weird cartilage or anything, just pure meat. Can I ask what ball game you were referring to? Giants game. Oh, okay. Getting the uh, garlic fries. Oh. Oh my gosh, salty. Good, baby. Wow. Cobbler, my baby. Oh, 